for the first school bell rang this morning, the Sioux City Community School District had to address, unfortunately, some staffing concerns. Yeah, to combat a teacher shortage, the district says it involuntarily transferred 55 of its staff members. Primarily, those staff members will be in the classroom. KTIV's Clayton Anderson is in the studio tonight with details on the ways the district is trying to satisfy those staffing concerns. Clayton? Yeah, with school starting today, the superintendent of Sioux City Community Schools, Dr. Rod Earlywine, said the district had to make filling vacant student-facing positions a priority, though Earlywine says they are still short by about 20 staff members. So the district moves staff who are qualified for a position of need into that vacant position. Earlywine says this method can be concerning as teachers have prepared for a particular job at the beginning of the year. Superintendent Dr. Rod Earlywine calls it a balancing act. That is always a concern. We, we want people to feel comfortable in what they're teaching. But we also have a master contract that we follow that, that starts with the, the least experience. So those would be the first ones if they're endorsed that would be involuntarily transferred. One example of an involuntary transfer would be a consulting teacher who has a special education degree could get moved into a special education classroom. With some support staff positions vacated in lieu of classroom positions, Earlywine says the district has to make changes. Earlywine says staff shortages are in areas like special education, English second language learning, and foreign language. We have to make some adjustments um, there and still try to give those students the support they need and the classroom teachers the support they need. So it will be a balancing act. The shuffling of staff is something that Mike Baranek, president of the Iowa State Education Association, the state's teacher union, says isn't uncommon. He says his concern is teachers being notified of a change only weeks or days before school starts. Baranek added the staffing issue is directly related to state funding and teacher wages. Here in Iowa, the monies that we've appropriated over the past 10 years has not kept up with inflation. Sioux City Community School Board President Dan Greenwell had this to say about the shuffling of staff to fill vacant positions in the district. Quote, we are focused on the students and classrooms and ensuring that we have the staffing necessary to keep class sizes at a reasonable level, end quote. Anderson Forrest in the studio tonight. Clayton, thank you. Now,